welcome to my channel Psychic Kathleen. My name is Kathleen. Nice to see you here today. Um, this morning I'm going to talk about a reading that I did in answer to a question about cheating. This is a question that often comes up in a reading. A client will ask is my partner cheating? Um, are they being faithful? What are they hiding from me? Very typical. So this um, question from, from this particular client, this is not a new issue for them. Uh, this issue had surfaced a few years ago um, and now had surfaced again. She had asked him if she could go through all of his emails and on his, his phone and he willingly handed that over to her um, and she did see a couple of things on there that brought some concern to her. The whole exchange between them led to um, a big Donnybrook um, and the fight ended in a discussion about divorce in a panic, she called me. So, the question about whether he's continuing along with his past behaviors, in answer to that, the card was the death card. I read that as, no, he wasn't, that he had said to her he had finished with that, he wasn't doing that anymore, and the death card, in fact, to me, validated that. He ha was not cheating. He wasn't doing anything that was would be considered inappropriate or offensive to her. Um, however, obviously other issues are evident in the relationship, and I recommended that they return to counseling regardless. She also uh, referred to a relationship between him and a friend of hers. She felt that he, they had friended each other on Facebook, he was liking a number of her photographs on Facebook, and she had some concerns that he would much rather be with this other woman than with her. And in answer to that, I turned over the Five of Swords which the Five of Swords is considered a conflict card, often referred to as a war card. And how I felt that answered her question was that no, indeed, there would be conflicts between these two people. Um, he may like her as a friend, but in terms of a serious relationship, they would be in conflict very soon and that certainly is what is in his mind. So in other words he has a conflict with this woman that would prevent him or stop him from even pursuing any kind of relationship with this woman. Now in asking me what should I do now? We're not speaking. He's at work. I'm concerned that he's still thinking that we're heading for divorce. And in answer to that came up the chariot card. The chariot is about setting goals and moving forward. It's knowing your weeks and your strengths, which is represented often by the white and black horse that's depicted in the card. So what, what should she do? The chariot is saying, move forward, move on, set some goals, and, you know, move, move forward in the relationship. That's how I felt. So I advised her to contact him at work and ask him out for dinner. Meeting in a public place uh, often helps a couple to be polite to each other. They have the sort of added pressure of the public around them to motivate them to be decent to each other, speak in moderated voices, watch the expletives, um, you know, just kind of 
have an adult conversation. So she agreed to do that um, and she felt that she was going to be able to move forward in the relationship. Having been assured in the reading that indeed her partner is not doing anything untoward, he has been telling her the truth, and further I advised her to apologize to him for calling him a liar. Clearly the, he, he had been quite willing to open up his whole life to her, his digital life, saying, you know, check through all my emails and, and all my contacts in my phone, you'll see that I haven't been doing anything that you wouldn't approve of. Um, now, she did want to know how he felt about this friend of hers, who she described as very sexy and seductive, um, and she wanted to know how did he feel about her, and the cards had answered the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is like the Queen of Hearts. This is the Queen of my heart. Um, clearly, he likes her. Uh, that's how the cards answered. He has affection for this woman. He quite likes her. Um, he does like her pictures. So, yes, he does like her. So perhaps that wasn't the best news for her to hear, but important information for her as well. Um, she asked me towards the end of the session, so how am I going to get through this? Like, I, I'm very worried that this is going to keep happening and I'm going to keep worrying and I'm going to get more and more upset. And the answer to that was the Nine of Swords, which is the Worry Wart card. So indeed, this issue is far from over. She definitely uh, will be worried about it for some time to come. She needs to find uh, some coping mechanisms to help her deal with this stress. Otherwise, the conflict is going to keep resurfacing between them, which is not healthy for their marriage and won't help them to move forward. So she needs to you know, find a way to deal with her stress and worry and upset in an effective way so that she's not spilling it over into the relationship and causing more dissension and um, antipathy between them. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to have more of, uh, see more of my videos, then just click the um, notification bell that's beside the subscribe button and you will have uh, notification of more uploads as they happen and that will come into your email box. Thank you again for joining me today. I look forward to working with you again very soon. Bye for now.